Hi, I'm Darren Cox. I'm here today to talk you through our brand new range of Garblino commercial carp floats. Beautiful range that's taken quite a lot of time to get right. It's taking some time because we've got some real nice key features. And what we didn't want to do was bring out a range that wasn't absolutely spot on. So there's a lot of floats out there on the market, lots and lots. So how do you make a float better? Well, for years, there's been quite a lot of handmade floats that have set a bit of precedence in the marketplace. So what we've had to do, we've had to bring our, our range of floats up to a standard that means every time you put that float back on the winder, when you get it out, it's gonna be in a, in a good state. We've got a beautiful new range now with some key benefits that'll help you as, as anglers on commercial waters. So what are the key benefits of this, this range of floats? First of all, they're built from Rohasol material, a real high dense foam which lasts and lasts. One of the key benefits of, of the Rohasol is when you insert the bodies, uh, stems and antennas into, into the bodies of the floats, they, they go in the stain with the right glue and the right fitting. It's got a high, really hard paint coating on. What that does means that you've, your line's not going to dig into your float time and time again. You, as I say, you can use the float, you can move it up and down on your line and it's not going to damage your float. One of the key aspects is the tip. We've got lots and lots of different floats with different diameters. So for example, if you're fishing down the margins, you want, you want a big thick tip, you want something that's buoyant. If you're fishing for F1s in winter on a delicate clear water with little looks, you want to see them little bites. We've got beautiful high vis but very, very slim hollow antennas. You can see these for miles. To top it off, you've got different kinds of stems in carbon, uh, in glass and in um, metal. One really handy feature we've got on these floats is what we call our colour, colour coding recognition. It's nice to have a lovely colourful float but these, the colours on these floats have a purpose and the purpose is if you've got a 0.2 float for example in this range it's going to be a blue base body. If you've got a 0.3 float it's going to be a, like an orangey colour base body. So when it's set on your kits you don't have to pick the, pick the kit up and have a look say is that a 0.2 is that a 0.3. We know for a fact it's got a white base it's a one gram float. If it's got a green base it's, it's a 0.6 gram float. It just makes identif identification really really quick, speeds up the fishing process and, and gives you those extra few seconds that you need especially on places like we are today on Benny's where you catch loads of fish those seconds really really do matter. The new DC 15 pattern is based on our really popular DC 18 pattern from previous. A lovely classic rugby ball shape, perfect for all types of fishing, largely fishing on the bottom, um, but what this has, it has a really good stability. So you've got a lovely long wire stem, big range of sizes, but as the sizes get bigger, the wire stems get longer to give you that stability. Nice, lovely high vis, 1.5 mil hollow antennas, these floats cover so many different applications from again from catching catching skimmers and silverfish right through to catching carp in deep water or even catching sharp carp with the hard pellet on the bottom banded um, with the 0 0.2 0 0.3 in, in relatively shallow water it's just one of those floats that gives you that stability when you need it when the wind's blowing the skim on the surface you get that float dotted down and you get a really good presentation with it the DC45 is a great flow for catching big carp. I, I, I do a lot of fishing at Larford and it, it's a particular pattern that I love. One of the beauties about it, it's got a nice big thick 2.25 mil hollow antenna. That means you can actually use a big bait and not worry at all about the liners. When you shot this bristle, you can shot it half, half down and when you get a bite, if you get a liner, it'll be, it'll be moving about, you get a bite, you get a proper bite, it'll bolt under. And one of the beauties about it is you don't scare your fish off. You can single those proper bites out and you catch a lot more fish by not spooking them. So you've got a nice, long, but 
thick bristle. It's got a long, strong carbon stem and a nice rugby ball shape for, for, for perfect buoyancy and, and perfect when you need to counter against the toe. Great float for taking down to places like Whiteacres, using it, you know, lakes like Bullingy here, here at uh, Lindome. Really, really good for big pellets, good for corn and good for meat, good for pace fishing, anything like that where you're targeting fish, carp with big baits. Brilliant float. This is the new DC-12. I love this float, really, really nice float. It's got a bit of delicacy to it. Um, got a, a hollow 1.2 mil um, antenna, high vis. It's got a lovely rugby ball shape, the elongated rugby ball shape and a long, fine wire stem. It's, it's a, quite a nice float for delicacy, this. And I've actually used it quite a lot for silver fishing, for skimmers, um, but it's, it's targeted more towards like an F1 float. Lovely in difficult conditions. When you've got a bit of wind, when you need to back shot, when you need to dimple your float down, you can use this, you can use it fishing fish full depth, and you know, you can use it tight up to islands or top two plus two, delicate fishing. It's just a lovely little float that gives you a lot of stability in poor conditions. DC 73 is what we call our classic pole stick. Originally it was designed for canals, for fishing full depth, laying lots of line in the bottom with maggots and casters. Started to find quite a lot of favour for places like this on commercials. One of the things about it, it's got a lovely fine pointy tip, so you can dot it right down. Again, you can lay line on the bottom in bad conditions and you can get stability and get that, that bait really still, which is what you need to get, to get those bites sometimes. So fine pointy tip and a long stable wire stem. Really good for commercials, but also absolutely brilliant. Hemp floats from the river, maggot floats from the river. Really good, versatile pattern, worth having in your box. This is a DC62, really simple pattern. Inline design, the line goes through the top, comes out the base of the body, and then you, you basically attach it to the, a, a long wire stem. These are lovely stable floats, great for shallow fishing, great for slapping, you can spin them over, completely tangle free, great for any, any, any type of bait you're going to use. Really, really simple, but they improve your shallow fishing no end. This is the DC41, probably the best all round, versatile, snake lake commercial float. Um, it's, it's a classic tunnel bound pattern, Heron Brook, um, Wherever you want to go all around the country, wherever they've got snake lakes, where you need to get across to the islands, where you need to get down the margins, this float can do, pretty much do any, anything on those venues. The beauty about it is it's got a lovely 1.75mm long high-vis hollow tip, but it's also got a strong carbon stem. So it really is a good durable float with a little bit of delicacy. You can dot these right down, dimple them, and you still see them even at 16 metres on the far bank, which is really, really important. But it gives you that durability when you're fishing close to reeds. The F1s to potentially take you in the reeds. You'll come back with your float. You might not come back with your hook, but you come back with your float and it'll still be intact. And that's, what, that's what's important on venues like this. This is a really good, durable float.